Hello everyone! Welcome again to my breastfeeding YouTube channel. Ito na naman ako ang inyong lactation consultant na magbibigay sa inyo ng panibagong kaalaman in regards to breastfeeding problems. So, uh, somebody messaged me uh, about a problem that she has with breastfeeding. Um, this uh, this problem is very common in our in my nursing experience in our breastfeeding clinic. So, ang problema kalimitan ng mga Asian moms, especially sa size nating mga Asian, um, is they think the problem is really is the size of your breast. So, the topic that I want to discuss today is is your breast size really a fact? on how you breastfeed. Um, many, many, many of my patients, uh, most of them question about their capability on how they can produce milk with a breast size like this. So this is even bigger. There's some breasts are even smaller than this, especially for Asian. So, kalimita ng mga nanay, pag, pag, Tingin nila yung breast nila ang liit, na worry sila. Lalo na yung mga mga nagbubuntis ngayon, if you're buntis ngayon or you're planning to get pregnant and you're worried that the size of your breast may not be capable of producing enough milk for your baby. Um, explain ko sa inyo ngayon kung ano ang gagawin nyo, kung ano yung mga kaalaman na kailangan yung malaman so that hindi kayo magiging ma problematic and you feel stress about the size of your breast and the milk that you can produce in that breast. So, I have few samples here. I think I have a smaller size. So I'll show you. I have a smaller size here. I'll show you kung I saw breasts with this size. You know that? Um, many, many in my nursing experience, my mga breasts na really, really well formed na yung uh, nipple talaga is well formed like uh, nipple ng bote na talagang maganda yung shape ng pagka nipple nila there are also some moms who really struggle with the shape of their nipple dahil flat yung nipple nila. so um i have another shape here my mga breast din na uh, ganito din ang shape na talagang pointed na talaga yung breast nila like like a bottle so yun yung mga breast mga shape ng breast as shape ng nipple na binayayaan ng, ng Diyos ng magandang magandang shape okay um there are isa sample ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung ano yung talagang winawari ng mga moms when it comes to I'm just um uh, trying to get the shapes that I can show to you um my mga shape din ng breast na it's just like this, okay? It's a perfect round, pero pagdating sa nipple, do naman sila bumagsak na flat na flat. So, there are so many types of breast talaga, so many types of nipple, na talagang namun problema ang mga nanay. So, it could be, it could be this shape, na very, it looks like a bottle, it could be like this, na flat yung nipple. So, there are so many ways, I have to be very careful and break my, I break my thing. So, in this situation, so I have a bigger breast. This is, <laughs> I have a bigger breast. <laughs> oh, I just want to make you laugh. Um, this, wait, stop rolling. Okay, sorry, it's distraction. Okay, there you go. So, this size of breast, as compared to this small one, minsan, Nagdi-debate ang, ang mga moms, am I capable of producing milk? Do I have enough milk for this size? So, I'm going to explain to you why it's such a big, a big issues for so many moms. Okay, when you have a smaller breast, as, as, as the size of this, if you have a smaller breast, worried na worried ka, um, Feeling mo hindi na nasatisfied yung baby mo because your breast is too small. Um, 
I want to ask you this, kung ganito ang size ng breast mo, it's so tiny or even smaller than this, the first thing I'm going to ask you, is your baby gaining weight? Every time ba nag-check up ka sa baby mo, may check up ka, is your baby gaining weight? If your baby is not gaining weight, then there's a problem with the small breast. But, kung maliit yung breast mo, pero yung baby mo nagigain ng weight, what's the big deal? That means, this breast is working. Okay? So, um, the, the, the intentions that I want to, to share with you today, kalimitan talaga sa, sa pag-iisip natin, the bigger the better. Kasi mapupuno talaga. Pag puno yung malaking breast mo, marami kang gatas. You know what? In my nursing experience, I've seen so many moms with huge breasts like this. Okay? But they struggled with milk supply. Why? Because again, for some moms who have bigger, bigger breasts, kalimitan din sila maraming fat doon sa inside tissue ng breast nila. Based on research, pag maraming fat tissue sa loob ng breast mo, especially if minsan ibang mga moms after birth medyo mataas yung timbang nila, they're, they're overweight, so kalimitan yung mga fats noon, it prevents from feeling more milk into the breast. Okay? So, it doesn't mean na malaki yung breast mo, marami kang gatas. There are some moms who also struggle with a big breast with less milk. There are moms who have this size of breast, but the God given, <laughs> they're pouring and pouring of milk. So, it's, it's a matter on the mom, mother's health, kung healthy na healthy ka. The baby is latching good na na stimulate yung breast mo, na maintain yung milk supply mo because of perfect or proper latching. Kaya laging may laman yung breast mo. Kung talagang feeling mo, how can you identify na breast mo maliit, worried ka, baby is not gaining weight, feeling mo wala ka talagang enough laman. Okay, how can you identify? When you're... Uh, uh, palpitating your breast, pag, pag dinatouch mo yung breast mo, even before you breastfeed, kung napifeel mo na after 3 hours, after 4 hours, very soft pa rin yung breast mo, feeling mo talaga is not really full, then there's a problem. The problem with that is, you may not be producing enough for your baby. Kaya your baby is not gaining weight, uh, you don't feel full, uh, even after three or two hours after you breastfeed, you don't feel like you get the letdown, meaning letdown, you spray ng milk mo. So there are many ways on how you can identify if you have enough milk supply or you don't have a uh, good milk supply. Now, when it comes to um, paano mo Paano mo ma-increase yun? Kasi yun ang, yun ang nakukuha ko mga messages na paano ko i-increase yung milk supply ko kung talagang maliit yung daddy ko, kulang pa ako sa supply. So, uh, I have few of these videos but I'm gonna do it again. Na maraming mga nanay talagang nag-message sa akin na kulang na kulang sila sa milk supply. Ito yung ulitin ko na naman sasabihin sa inyo. Ang kul kakulangan sa milk ay maraming dahilan. Hin either dahilan si baby uh, either si baby tamad or si baby talagang hindi siya magaling magsak na mag stimulate sa breast mo or si baby talagang hindi frequently dumidedi sa'yo kaya kulang na kulang yung milk supply mo kasi medyo mahina yung backup mo na worker na si baby okay on your side naman on the mother side kung bakit Kunti yung milk supply mo, either nanay lagi kang pagod, nanay ang dami mong problema ang iniisip, nanay ang dami mong, ang dami mong ginagawa sa bahay na nakakalimutan mong mag-frequent breastfeeding kaya nagdi-decrease yung milk supply mo. Or nanay hindi ka kumakain ng mga masustansyang pagkain, 
lalo na sa pandemic na ito, kulang ka sa mga vitamina, mga vitamins, kulang ka sa mga uh, healthy ingredients ng pagkain mo to increase your milk supply. So, do not blame yourself alone. Hindi lang ikaw yung may problema. Minsan din, patas kayo. Either your baby has a problem or you have the problem. So, what can you do? So, if you don't have the chance to see a breastfeeding educator, a lactation consultant like me, or a nurse educator na maggabay sa'yo, I'm happy to be, will, to, to be here to tell you on what you need to do. Okay? Kung talagang severe na yung problem mo to the point na wala ka na talaga is drying na, wala nang laman yung breast mo, si baby is not gaining weight, you need to seek medical help sa doctor mo. Okay? Ano ba talagang kailangan mo? Okay? Either baby has any some, some type of medical condition na hindi nagigain weight ng baby mo. I'm gonna set you an example. In my experience in our breastfeeding clinic, may nanay na ang dami niyang gatas. Ang dami talaga niyang gatas. Ngayon, worried siya kasi yung baby niya hindi nagigain ng weight. Hindi talaga nagigain ng weight yung baby niya. No matter gaano kadami yung mak niya. Guess what? When pumunta siya sa kliniko, so I said, I have to refer you to see your doctor, your, your pediatrician, because this is not a normal uh, issue anymore dahil the baby is not gaining weight and yet you have lots of milk supply. Guess what? Uh, we found out na ang baby pala may um, problema sa thyroid. Mm -hmm. Kaya yung metabolism ng baby yung kinakain ng baby na burn out lahat na hindi nagigain weight yung baby. Okay? So, because of blood work, so nag blood work ang baby, nalaman na gano'n na may problema. There's also some things that mom would have a problem to kung si mom ay may hypothyroidism, okay? A problema sa thyroid or anemic si mom, kaya hindi nakapag-produce ng maraming milk um, or Kulang na kulang talaga sa masustain siyang pagkain. So these are the things that you need to understand bago ka maging stressed. Bakit, bakit kaliit-liit ng breast ko? Or, or bakit malaki ang breast ko? Hindi pa rin nagigay ng weight ng baby ko. So it's not, it's not the size of breast. It's how you latch the baby. It's how you breastfeed the baby. And how you take good care of yourself as a mother. Okay? Maintaining your good health, nutrition, your mental health, your physical health, as well as maintaining baby's breastfeeding frequently. Yun talaga ang one of the ways on how you can maintain milk supply and also by bus giving yourself a break sometimes, okay? Uh, dahil mahirap talaga ang maging mom, mahirap talaga minsan ang mabibreastfeed. Hindi lahat ng breastfeeding mom is, is like they're doing it magically na... It's there and the milk will come out. You, sometimes you have to work hard. So I hope this video talaga nakakatulong sa mga nanay ngayon na naghihirap ng milk supply. So if you have any comments, any experience, any situation, feel free to comment. Please do like this video, share this video para marami kayong matutulungan. Hindi lang ako. Okay. Um, I would like to see your comments and please continue to subscribe every two or three days. May iba't iba akong video yung ipapakita sa inyo that would really help you for yourself, for your family, and for everybody around you and how you can get along with everyone around you. Thanks for watching and be safe. I'll see you again.